Welcome to Mobile Applications Tutorials. My name's Nigel. This is, a, this is a continuation of the How to Teach Your Wife Android Programming series. And here we have my wife, Hello. June. Hello. How are you, June? Yep, alright. <laughs> are you ready to get started yeah, in the next so. segment of the course? Yeah, I think so. Good, good, good. In the last course, June learned how to install Android Studio and the SDK, the yeah. Software Development Kit. In this tutorial, June's actually going to be creating an Android application wow. and installing it on her phone, which happens to be a Nexus 4. Are you ready to make a start, June? Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, if you can just open up your Android Studio. Yeah. Okay, when you start Android Studio for the first time, you'll be greeted by this box. Mm -hmm. And so, basically, June, what you're going to do is start a new Android project. Start a new Android project. Yeah. So, the first thing you have to do is give your application a name. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you go down to the next line below... Yeah. Um, the application name is based on two things, your domain name and then appended to the end of that is your application name. So if you can just put your domain name in first. Yeah, it's already dead. Yes, I... Okay, so oh. your domain name is fine. Yeah. So if you can just put your application name. Application name. Um, what, what, what name is good for this? What name do you want to call your first application? Mm. My first application. That's fine. Or June's first application. June's first application. That, that's fine. And another point to note is down at the project location, mm -hmm. um, that's where your application project's going to be installed. Are you happy with that location? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can maybe I just delete this part so that the name will be shorter. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, if you select next. Next. Okay, so it's saying at the very top you've got the minimum SDK. So that SDK, minimum SDK is the minimum version of Android you can run on your phone. So We've got Lollipop running on this phone, so we don't have to select such a uh, older version. So, June, if you select the minimum SDK, and if you go to 5.0, Lollipop. Lollipop, yeah. Yeah. That should be fine. Now try next. Next. Hmm. Okay. What, what you get offered here is a number of default sort of... Um, how, how do I word it? You get a, a number of default functionality um, so applied with your application, such as you can get a drag widget box. You can also, what else can you get? Maps supported, Google Play services. So you get a whole lot of extra functionality built into your initial application. I'm going to sort of stay away from that because I like to know what code we're putting into our application so that we're more familiar with what our application is made up of. So if you just select the blank activity. Okay, you can just keep that mm -hmm. as itself. Yeah. Um, June, do you know what an activity is? Not really sure. What's that? Okay, so an activity is just basically... A representation of what's happening on your application screen. Mm -hmm. So if your application's only got a single screen, a mm -hmm. single page you could say, mm -hmm. that activity just represents what's happening on there. Mm 
Crazy. Associated with an activity is a layout, and inside the layout you have views. So think of a, an activity that is basically what your layout for that um, for that page is going to look like on your application. So a system, every application needs to have a main activity. So the activity is where your code sort of runs. It's where you write your code on. Is, is that clear enough? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, we will go back yeah. to that, revisit that. Okay, you select finish. And just wait. So, it's saying building your application name, Gradle, Gradle project info. Gradle, just think of Gradle as your building tools. It does come with configuration files and everything, but we're not going to look into that at the moment. But just think, of when your application builds, it's building off the Gradle um, build tools. Okay, something happens. If we just looked at the bottom, you can see the activity there. So you can close the tips and look at them at your own leisure. Okay, it is saying to download the Java Development Kit 7. So if you could just select download. Okay. Yeah. Because Android runs on Java, you do need the Java Development Kit installed. So you just need to install that Development Kit. Okay. Yeah. If you just go back, I think you selected the wrong link. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, scroll down. We just want to find a download. Okay, it's not entirely clear, but in the middle, oh, oh, in the middle, if you look, Mac OS X64. Yeah. Yeah. And select that for download. Yeah. So we'll just wait for that to download. Okay, Joan, so it's downloaded. Mm -hmm. Can you install the Java development kit? Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Java for try installing that. Yeah. Yeah, if you can install that. So we just have to wait for the Java development kit to be installed. Make our Android Studio happy. Yeah. Okay, that looks like it's installed. Can you now go back to your Android Studio? Yeah. Okay, June, you've yeah. now installed Java. We need to point your Android Studio to the location of where your Java library is installed. So if you select select the JD key from the JDK from the file system. Uh, next one down. Okay. You're using the older version of Java 1.6, but we need JDK 7. So that's not in that location. Can you just scroll up to, to the top? Top. Yeah, and can you close the system folder? Yeah. And can you open up library? Library, yeah. Now go to Java. Java, yeah. Now go to Java Virtual Machines. Yeah, yeah. Can you open that up? No, 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 no. Okay, no. <laughs> can okay, you open, open, open that up, yeah. Okay. Now select JDK7. Yeah. That one. Select. Yeah. Yeah. And OK. Let's see what happens. And select OK. OK, that's good. The warning's now gone away. You are using the correct version of Java with your Android Studio. OK. Right, so we've now configured our Android Studio with Java. The next step is for us just to, just for me just to show you a bit about Android Studio, just to familiarise 
your way with it. Can you open the app tab at the side? Okay. On the left hand side, there's an app tab. This one? Uh, no, no. Uh, go down. Yep, this one? Yep. And can you open up Java? Actually, can you open up Manifest? Let's start from the top and work away. And can you open up that file? This one? That's an XML file. Double click. Double click. Okay. So this is, think of this as a file that holds all your system information, it holds all your activity information, it holds your application name. This file is very important, it's like the glue of your project. So it holds all the details. So if you look at it, it's got the application which you need to create an application. And if you also look in the middle, you can see it's got the activity as well. Remember when we first created the project, we had the main activity? Do you remember yep, that? Yep. yep. So this is where you put all your activities as well. Okay, can you now go on the left hand side, can you open up the Java box? The Java box. Where is it? This one? Yeah. Yep. And can you open up the the upper box? The, this one? Yeah. Yep. And can you open up that file? Yep. So this is where your source code lives when you do your programming. It lives in this file here. Yep. So, okay, and one more file to look at. Can you open up the res folder? Yep, res. Yeah. Yep. And can you open up layouts? Layout. And click on that file. Yep. Yeah. So basically, this is an XML file of the layout. A layout is just a collection of views. And we'll go into that in more detail in the next tutorial. So this is what your layout looks like. And at the bottom there, can you select the text tab? Like this one? Yes. So basically, you have a layout which is just a collection of views. Your layout happens to be a relative layout. We'll talk about that later on. And inside your layout, you've got one view, which is a text view. And a text view is just a collection of text that gets displayed on your phone. Is that straightforward? <laughs> <laughs> so if this pre you know, if we do this a bit more, it should become clearer. Okay, can you go back to your design tab? Right, yeah. yeah. So that's your screen. You've got the name of your application at the top, and underneath that, you've got a text view, which is just a collection of text. Okay? Okay. Okay, enough of me teaching. June, let's <laughs> run your application. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so this one in Android good. Studio, yeah. the run is just a it's like a green play button at the top of the editor. So it's a green play button, like a green arrow. This one? Yes. So when you click that, this is going to compile and build your code so that the Java Virtual Machine running on your phone will actually understand what's being built and will run it on your phone. Okay, so the next step there is, you've got two choices. We've got hardware installed, so we're going to load the application onto a real phone. If you didn't have a phone, not a problem. You can actually, from here, you could select an emulator itself. Or, I believe, yeah, you could install an emulator itself to run. But, preferable option is to use hardware. Okay, June, can you try running that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And as usual, you get a status indicator of what's happening at the bottom of your editor. Mm. So we just got to... So it's telling us it's installing it. Let's give it a bit of time. Okay, your application's now installed. So this is your application, June, that you created. Do you oh. want to look at it? I don't want to. <laughs> yes, uh, it's Hello World. 
so it's it's like a standard first application to be built so can you show me where your text view is on your application text viewer uh here wasn't it her wall yes exactly so that's your this is your layout and you just have one oh, view just a text view in the next tutorial we'll be talking a lot more about different types of views and displaying them on your screen Okay, Jen, that completes the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> You've successfully created wow. your first, June's first, Android application. Maybe not outstanding, but what do they say? Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, June, from this tutorial, you. you learned how to start your Android Studio. We spent a bit of work making sure we had the right Java development kit for our environment. You had a brief intro to Android Studio, just the project files where they lived. You used the run button, that green play button for the first time, to build your project and install it on your phone. And you got to have a look at your first application. So how was that? Good. Good, good. Are you ready for some more? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> great, great. So, in the next tutorial, June's going to be modifying wow. your application. Wow, I'm not sure I can do it. <laughs> and you're going to be creating some new... Legend teaching, so... Yeah. Just be fun. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to be creating different types of views Good. for the next tutorial. Anyway, if you like this sort of tutorials, please subscribe. And give June a big clap for creating your oh, first thank Android you for application. Watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. That's all for now. Bye. Bye bye. Exactly. So now, if you save that, yeah. yep. Now, if you go to your design tab. See what it says there? How would you? Yeah. I guess that's work. Yeah. Okay, next step here is for you to run the application to see that if that works on the actual phone itself. Okay.